Hey guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the five hidden features of the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. Now, these features are underrated and we usually miss out on them. I mean, you can call them the tips and tricks that are useful, essential, but then we don't even know if they exist. So, well, what are we waiting for? Let's find out what are those tricks. Let's get started. Okay, so we all know that the stock gallery app on Samsung is pretty cool. Now, we have already made a video about the best gallery apps that you can install on your Android. But if you are a Samsung user, you can basically use the stock gallery app because there are so many features there for you to check out. Now, the stock gallery app on Samsung packs in a pretty cool feature that lets you hide and unhide albums quite easily. Yes, just open up the gallery app and then tap on the three dots in the corner. Now tap on hide or unhide albums. You can just mark the album you want to hide and these albums won't show up in the gallery until you unhide them. To unhide the albums, however, repeat the same process and deselect the marked ones. So this one is pretty simple. I mean, it hides and it unhides. There is no pin protection, no encryption, uh, no such features. But if you're looking for anything that remotely lets you hide photos based upon like let's say your pin or password we can check out the dedicated gallery apps video that we have done for every android device now the next hidden feature that the gallery app packs in is snapshot now you must be wondering that snapshot is like screenshot but no it's not snapshot is a very different thing so let me show you what i'm talking about so open up a photo inside the gallery app and zoom in a bit now some of you might just take a screenshot here to crop it and some might just open up the photo editor for your choice and crop the image. Well, with the S20, all you have to do is tap on the snapshot icon in the top left and it will basically save a crop of the image with that particular crop section. Now, this particular feature is different from taking a screenshot because in screenshot, your resolution of the screen becomes your final resolution of the photo. But if you take a snapshot, it will save the photo in its current resolution. I mean, all the details that you want in a photo will be there even after it's cropped. So that is how snapshot is different from screenshot. And if you want to crop photos, this is the easiest way you can do it on Samsung. Okay, now moving on to the best feature of the Samsung Galaxy S20 series on the camera front is the single take. I mean, I'm in love with this feature and why shouldn't I be? This feature is just so great and it's pretty simple actually. Just switch on the single take mode in the camera app and then tap on the shutter button. Now the phone will start recording a video. However, once you stop the so-called recording, the phone will present you with beautiful memories in short during the process. This includes well-framed subjects, some GIFs, a boomerang and whatnot. It all depends on what subject you record. But honestly, it makes your task of taking the perfect photo a lot easier. Now, the next feature in the list is live captioning. And using this feature is pretty simple. So to turn it on, tap on the volume down and then tap on the expand icon. That is the down arrow in the corner. In the list of options that pops up, just enable the toggle next to live captions. Now, what live caption does it, it automatically creates caption whenever any sort of speech is detected. So whenever you are watching a video from your gallery, Instagram or YouTube, live captions will be present there. And now the final feature that you should not miss out is the pop-up view of Samsung. Now we all love Facebook Messenger bubbles, right? Well, Samsung actually allows you to enable that for pretty much any app you want. Yes, to do that, just head over to settings, advanced features and tap on the smart pop-up view. Now just enable the toggle on the application you would like to be viewed in smart pop-up view. Now each time a new notification pops up, the new chat head will appear on your home page. If you tap on the chat head, you will be able to view the message and reply easily. So guys, with that, we come to an end of this video. If you like the tricks, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button. And if you want to share any of your personal tricks with our audience, please sound them off in the comment section. Well, that's all in this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.